Hello everyone, in this tutorial, we are going to generate Hedra-like talking avatar in ComfyUI locally, and the fun thing, this framework can be learning the head motion from a reference video, and the output talking avatar become more dynamic feel with movement from the motion of real person video. This is called Live Portrait. Imagine you have a photo of yourself or a loved one, and with a little AI magic, you can make it come to life just like those moving pictures in Harry Potter. That's precisely what Live Portrait does. So how does it work? Well, Live Portrait uses something called implicit key points. Think of them as invisible dots that the AI places on important parts of your face, like your eyes, nose, and mouth. These dots help the AI understand how to move your face realistically. But here's the cool part. It doesn't just guess how your face moves. It learns from real videos. You give it a video, like someone talking or smiling, and it uses the motion from that video to animate your photo. This means it can make your photo do whatever the person in the video is doing, and it's fast. With the power of a high-end GPU, it can create these animations in just 12.8 milliseconds. Live Portrait also gives you control over specific parts of the face. Want to animate just the eyes or lips? No problem. This makes it perfect for creating customized lifelike animations. And the best part? They've made the code available to everyone. You can check it out on their GitHub page. So let's check out the Comfy UI custom node. So first, we have the Comfy UI Live Portrait KJ custom node. Search for that in Comfy UI Manager and click Install. Once you finish, you can restart your Comfy UI. But before that, you have to download the Live Portrait Safe Tensors model that is refined for Comfy UI. There are links provided in the GitHub project for these custom nodes. Also, you are required to install Insight Face. Insight Face is a non commercial face recognition library. You can download Insight Face for testing and research purposes. Now, once you download that, restart your Comfy UI. While the process is going through, you have to install the dependencies and any necessary components in this custom nodes project. Then, you have to download these model files one by one again and place them in your models folder. Under the models folder, there's a live portrait subfolder. You have to create that yourself. And then come back to the GitHub project page. As we can see, there are example folders in this custom nodes project, which you should also download. Once you use the Comfy UI Manager to download this custom nodes GitHub project, you can go to the examples subfolder and drag this workflow onto the Comfy UI interface. This will bring up the custom nodes workflow that generates different face avatars for you to play around with. Now, I have a few examples I want to show regarding these live portrait custom node settings. Let's try another face here. When I generate this and I'm using the retargeting for eyes and lips enabled, it will not really follow the whole motions. But once I turn it off, like in this example here, it will follow the whole face motions and all the important points of the face. Not only are the eyeballs or the lips moving, but it's also using the whole face recognition as the guideline to generate our AI avatar. So again, in another example, I turned off the eyes retargeting and only used the lip syncing. As you can see, only the lips are moving here, which is a university speech from Jack Ma, the Alibaba founder. Nothing is free. Nothing is easy. Easy means you have to think different. You have to do different. 
If John said this is right, you fall John. Why you? So you have to think. For example, early days in my company. As you can see, the timing of the audio and the lips are pretty matched. But again, if you set the retargeting off for the eyes, there won't be a lot of motion on the face because the eyes and the whole face motions follow through naturally like a human's. So once we do that, we won't get a good result. It will just be the lips moving in the generated animation. So let's try another one where I turned off both the retargeting for the eyes and the lips. This is interesting because when we turn these options off and generate the animation, the whole facial motions follow through the source videos. My reference image performs almost the same motions as the reference videos. In this example, you can see there's a lot of motion and all the eyes, lips, and even face muscles are able to move. The source video's motions, even the eyebrows and some cheeks on the face, are also moving. Even the head's left and right motions are followed. I can see this AI model has good potential, but then we have to fine-tune the settings in the custom node itself to make very detailed movements of the face. In this example again, I have turned off the retargeting for the eyes and lips. I realize that with both retargeting options off, it performs more naturally, more like what a human would have in detailed face motions. So that is it for this video. It's a quick demo of the live portrait custom nodes. How can we leverage this for animations? Maybe we can use it to enhance more details of the face for AI animation characters. For instance, Sometimes we might have AI movies that we want to produce, and a character needs to speak in a more natural manner with more natural movement. Then, Live Portrait could be potentially useful. I hope this inspires you on how a tool like this can be used for AI animation. I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. See ya.